wonder how the sound's going to be, if it's going to be too loud or not. Oh, you know, the music is going to get me super in trouble, isn't it? If I turn it all the way down like that. Think that'll be okay? Maybe about there? Yeah, we are so getting in trouble playing this game. YouTube is going to hate me. Uh, so will Twitch probably. Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Elias Bar. We're going to get in some nostalgia. I discovered the other night when uh, I was just like, man, I want to just mess around in Grand Theft Auto 3 just how terrible the experience was on PC with the OG Grand Theft Auto 3 that I've owned for, what, like 15 years or something. I remember playing it once, like way back in the day and not doing too much with it because why would I? I've got, I own the game on PlayStation 2, which is a great version, by the way. Uh, but, you know, I don't feel like hooking my PlayStation 2 up to stream. I got this stuff to do it. I, I probably will one day. And I felt like playing some Grand Theft Auto 3. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, I played a little bit. I think I did the first mission where you uh, drive uh, that girl for Luigi. That's kind of loud. So anyway, what I did is uh, the Steam Forum, or a Steam Guide or something, was talking about like the Definitive Edition, and apparently that's a thing you can go buy, but also if you own the original, you can download a patch for the original game to make it the Definitive Edition. So that's what I've got right here. I, like, I don't know how any of this works, I just installed it. police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Oh no! Senor Dickhead, it's no problem to kill you. You gonna be sorry. They're setting up aye, so aye, much stuff off. for the rest of the game right now. Like initially, you're confined to just the first island, and this is why because of the opening sequence where the bridge gets blown right here. Plus those guys are obviously the Colombians and you deal with them later in the game and yada yada. Like, we're setting up a lot of stuff that comes in at the end of the game right now. Okay. We're gonna bump the audio down like two more ticks, I think, yeah. Dude, why would I listen to Double Clef? No no. We're gonna listen to K Ja, because we're classy. So, XLG, I know I didn't say hi to you, but hello and welcome. Uh, I remember playing this, you know, like 20 years ago on my PlayStation 2. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're, we're getting used to the camera. The handbrake is here. Yeah!
Here we can honk the horn. This game benefited by being a PS2 game instead of a PS1 game. So you got like the dual shock controller type setup where you got the twin sticks. Right out of the box though, this game does not like modern controllers. Uh, that was something that they fixed with the definitive edition. No, oh, that does not seem to be the handbrake. Oh, we're going in the wrong alley. My bad. This poor car, we've had it for like five seconds and we've already broken it. That's the handbrake, okay. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. This definitive edition looks really good compared to the original. How you doing, XLG? I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back, so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over. Here. I know the radio's throttled way down, but like, is the rest of the sound okay? Like the engine noise and all that. This game has a great soundtrack. I just can't play it on uh, Twitch or YouTube because it's all copyrighted. Yeah, you can definitely see what kind of club Luigi runs. Oh my! Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. What's that guy's name? It's 8-Ball or 9-Ball or something? Say hello to 8-Ball, ladies. 8-Ball, I was right. 8-Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. You know, he could just call her a taxi, right? You have fun over One thing that's hard to get used to, I played so much GTA 4, and I'm used to the way GTA 4 cars handle and throttle and stuff. And that is definitely not how this game rolls. The driving is a very different experience. I don't know if it's a better one, but it's different. Over the years, I've killed so many people up this hill. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna live legal here. I would stream GTA 4 sometime, but I gotta be honest, man. There's a lot I don't like about GTA 4. It's also really finicky. On PC, anyway. It's fine on console, I guess, but on PC, it's pretty finicky. Now, one thing I am not gonna do on this is all the little side missions, like the 100 taxi jobs and doing 100 ambulance pickups in a row and. Blah, 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 blah. I did all that stuff back when I was an undergrad. I don't want to do it again. But we're actually going to go... Run over that guy. What did the music change? I didn't change it. I must have bumped the little side bumper there. We're going to come down here. 
we are going to say if the camera feels wrong. I think I need to see if I can invert the y-axis. You bet I want to save. Amazingly, parking a car in the garage fixes it. Isn't that awesome? Now, we got a couple things we could go do. We could just go cause some mayhem. But I think I want to go do Luigi's next mission first. Hold on, can I invert the axis? Oh, gosh. I don't, I don't even know where the... Control for that is. Dude, this is like, I'm completely overwhelmed. Uh, change camera? No. Yeah, I, I, we're, we're leaving. I'm, I'm scared of all this. All right, well, we'll just, um. You have fun over. There we go. Life feels a lot better now. We just intentionally murdered the first person that we intentionally murdered. Yes, I am. I can definitely afford the good stuff. I just broke out of prison. I'm wanted by the cops. Naturally, I'm on drugs. You said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. This yeah. Old high on the street goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Fortunately, take his car, I got a bat. It. I want compensation for this insult. Now, one thing missing from this that I really appreciate in GTA 4 was the pathing. We ain't got no pathing. That's okay. I still vaguely remember how some of the streets are laid out around here, so we shouldn't have too much trouble navigating. didn't just murder that guy intentionally stick I wish was a little more sensitive but those are those are features that we did not have when this game came out like that technology there we go look at that We are a professional. Now the game is introducing us to one of the most important things you can get. The pay and spray. Oh, baby. Talk about uh, swerving right there. 
So when you get a bunch of stars, you know, the police are after you. The paint spray is how you can get rid of them. The cops and the stars. Duck in a paint spray, you get a new paint job. They no longer know who you are. Fortunately for us, there's a paint spray right over here. We're just going to go through this building because we can. That's right, there's a secret package in here, isn't there? How do we lock on? Not like that. I thought there was a way to lock on in this one. I remember right, the hidden packages unlock a bunch of stuff back at your hideout. Uh, like guns and things if you collect them. We only picked that one up because it was so quick and easy. Kind of accidental, really. Are you, for real? you for real? There's also like uh, secret jumps and stuff you can do that are pretty cool. We certainly will stash the car in Luigi's lockup. It's pretty amazing to think this is the game that really created the open world genre that we take for granted. Like every AAA game, just about it, is a descendant of Grand Theft Auto 3. This game was so super revolutionary when it came out because it felt like you could do anything you wanted, which uh, mostly meant machine gunning people. Luigi cut me in for four grand. Yeah, I'm taking your Hummer, dude. I'm going to get you. And of course, Saints Row was created like as a knockoff of this, and that led to its own series of cool games. I've never played Saints Row, the original one. I played a little of Saints Row 2 on Steam, and that just felt like I was playing Grand Theft Auto, but not as good. And then I played um, Saints Row 3, actually, before I played Saints Row 2, and oh my gosh, that game is just an absolute masterpiece. I should get back to it sometime, actually. And, like, 100% that. But it's also been, like, 10 years since I played, so, yeah, that's probably not happening. Okay. Now we got a Hummer. Yeah, save right here. And I'm going to pop over out of the game for just a second here. Which looks like it hangs the game. Okay, well, that's neat. Because I just wanted to make sure, yeah, that the stream looked okay and all that jazz here. Sure does look okay to me. Let me hit refresh just to make sure we're caught up. Yeah, everything looks cool. He's just standing there. We're just standing here. We got XLG in the audience. Hello, XLG. Oh, you know what? While we were driving by the hospital and jacking that guy, we should have picked up some health. What? It's okay. That is okay. 
This is a real nice part of town, if you can't tell. Oh yeah. This is like the old school GTA camera. I don't know how you'd play this game like this for long. Like, this would drive me crazy. I went back to play uh, the original GTA and GTA 2 a little bit for nostalgia's sake. And, uh... Boy, that was a rough experience on PC. I think it would have been better if I had busted out my PS1 uh, copy of the games. But, uh... Actually, no, I don't have, uh... I don't have GTA 2 on PS1. I only have it on PC. Okay, that's enough of this camera. Sorry, I know I'm just like causing absolute havoc here, but that's half the fun of this game, man. Driving around and causing mayhem. This is basically like top five most important games of all time. Like I would be hard pressed to think of a game that was more important than this that wasn't like just Pong. Joey Leone. You want some action from his regular girl, Misty? Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Hey, Ninja. I am indeed an agent of chaos. dog chasing cars. Gotta honk my horn. Look at those high definition textures, top quality polys. Ooh, baby. Hold on, I just got a bunch of messages on Discord. Let me see what these are before we get rolling here. Oh. Just ninja sharing something funny. Okay. Six. Flashlights now cost $30. Yeah, six. They, they sure do. It'd be nice if, you know, Mr. Six showed up and talked to people on stream or something sometime. Oh yeah, there's one of the jumps right there. We are not doing that right now while we got a passenger in the car, but I'm going to come back and do that later because that might be fun. One of my favorite things about uh, Vice City was the motorcycles, man. You get on one of those things and you're like invincible. Just mow down everybody from the safety of your motorcycle tank. Well, we're going to heal real quick while we're right here. Get back in the car, Misty. I was just grabbing some drugs from the hospital, okay? Because health is liberty. I always like that red smear you leave on the road, man. Look at Sal the Seven Seas. 
Oh, and there's, there's that one uh, place in here that's like the fudge packing factory. Is it this building? No, there, there's one like that. Um, that's the dog food factory behind us. Wow, what's with the weird glow around the sign? We have fog effects? I'll be with you in a minute, Sparkplug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? I've done, like, two jobs for Joey. What's ringing? Anyway, we should go back and finish working for Luigi here. Woo! I'm not sure this car would have survived that collision. This thing should have just gotten wrapped around that post, but okay. Remember, one of my favorite things to do back in the day was uh, just drive up and down the sidewalks in this part of the game and just run people over. <laughs> Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Abner Nation opposite the subway. Okay, time to get a gun. Get a car with the top this time. SLG is doing hot dogs, but he'll be right back. Well, good to know. Show those hot dogs who's boss, buddy. I know how guns work. Okay, well, that didn't go according to plan. Maybe I should have tried to wreck their car. Yeah, thanks for the reminder about where my health is displayed. Way back in the day, I used to restart, like reload my save game if I died. It felt wrong to get wasted or arrested. But I don't think I care today. Well, get off. I heard the Grand Theft Auto theme right there. Oh, 
age. Bring it in. All right, there we go. Hey, I want your taxi. <laughs> okay, he'll take it back. That's fine. Let's get the mission again. Of course, being a professional Grand Theft Auto player, you know, I have some ideas about ways to cheese that this uh, upcoming mission. Maybe we'll cheese it, maybe we'll do it legit, I don't know, but let's get that gun first. Where do the uh, ambulance guys go to? They ain't out here. But Abs, we gotta drive. Hey, there's a subway. guy going ah come on game I need that car just to last like two bullets longer we'd have had it I was just going to run him over. Time-honored ancient technique known only to a select few Grand Theft Auto players. We're going to jack this dude's taxi. Right in front of the police station. GTA 3 never had the best feeling combat. That's one thing I gotta give uh, GTA 4, is combat is leaps and bounds more fun there. Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, I know where ammunition is. Let me just go, game. need a gun except to get this guy out of his car will it crash do that bull oh, crap he pulled me out of the car get up bro That is such crap. Okay, get in his car. Oh, he killed his homeboy. And they blew the car up, so they're dead. Alright, well, that's one way to accomplish that mission. Deep. 
pistol is now in stock at Ammunition. Touch that radio. Okay. I don't plan on it. Dude, we might keep this guy's car. Let me go put this in the garage and we'll jack another ride. Got some horses under the hood. But see, in a lot of games before this came out, right? If you went and you played a game that came out before Grand Theft Auto 3, Do I already have a car in the garage? I thought we got rid of it. Oh, that Hummer's in there. Ah, I forgot about the Hummer. Uh, but in a lot of games before GTA 3 came out, like, you couldn't have done what I just did. Like, if you wouldn't play Driver, you're stuck in the car. You don't have the option to get out of the car do your missions. First-person shooters, you couldn't be in the car to do that. It would have forced you to get out and engage them in a firefight. GTA 3 is one of the earliest games to give you the flexibility to approach problems the way you want to. And it deserves some props for that. That's the kind of thing that a confident developer does. And DMA Designs or Rockstar North, uh, whatever they were called at this point, I don't know that you'd really call them confident. They just made the stuff they wanted to make. Which is confidence of a sort, but it's not like it is now. Where they're all like, let's milk GTA online for every penny we can get. Which reminds me, one of these days I need to play GTA 5 some more. I haven't played that since it came out. I got it on uh, PS3, I guess. Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. All right. Well, we can probably pick up three... What a jerk that guy was. Oh my gosh. Dude does not know how to obey traffic law. Uh, Derek Cavan just subscribed to me on YouTube. Thank you so much. I don't know if the assets in this are the same upscaled assets that are in the remaster or not, but everything about this game's presentation looks good so far. That guy had it coming. Okay, so there's three. Uh, I guess we'll go this way.
Camera should be up higher, in my opinion. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Jeez, why is this lady so far out here? I made a terrible mistake coming to pick her up. Where the flip-flop is she? she? She's just out here working the junkyard. Let me sell Luigi. I don't think that that plan is going to be very successful. Work in the junkyard does not seem like you're going to make a lot of money. Work at the boneyard, on the other hand. All right, honey, get in. Yeah, even here in the definitive edition, yeah, camera controls feel kind of unsatisfying. But uh, hey, this game's 20-something years old, so what do you expect? grab this girl and just run her over there. I don't think we're getting that other one. She's way, way out there. Who knows where she's at? She's like on a ship in the dockyard or something. Now selling the seven seas. But we can certainly drop one more off. Right at the deadline, baby. You know what, let's do one. I remember reading for, I don't know if it was GTA 3 or GTA 4, but somebody had uh, made a mod that turned the game into like a police procedural. Hey, Mitty. Oh, whoops! I accidentally canceled the mission. I'm just meant to, to roll the camera back. Oh well. This is the original. Uh, with the definitive edition patch applied. So things are upscaled, the controls are sane. But it's the original PC version otherwise. Probably because it was made by people who care, as opposed to the remake, which was made by somebody for a cash grab. Dude, this dude is just driving around like an idiot. All right, fine, we're going to turn this on. Look, we're just here to inflict some justice, okay? Oh! I should use the handbrake. Oh, I love this! 
Ah! Oh, he spun out at exactly the wrong moment in time. Well, never mind. There goes my car. How do you jump in this one? That's how you jump. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to be stopping this criminal scum today. That's okay. Ooh, I picked up a shotgun. Hey, buddy. Give me your car. Sorry, I'm, I will look at chat once this mission is over, which will be in like 30 seconds. But in the meantime, I'm trying to catch up to this guy so I can kill him and bring some justice and peace to the world. As opposed to whatever this criminal's doing with his crime. I forgot how bad the car's controlling this. At least they're not floaty like GTA 4 cars. Those things are just all over the place. Curse you, bad guy. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. Looking for the pump ball, Virginia. Yeah, there is none. Uh, told you got called out. You got called out. It's true. Hi, everyone. How come this is better than the original? Oh, that's because it's uh, made by people who care. As opposed to upskilled AI stuff. Uh, Day is good, doing good. Doing all right. Trying to get over being sick. What was that? A pile of crap. That was the junkyard. Stop being sick. Yeah, I wish it was that easy. Enjoying the freedom. No, Eliza Bar. Woo! Okay. Alright, well, we're all caught up on chat now. Let me uh, run up to the hospital and get some health real quick. And maybe run over a couple people along the way. We're just ran this guy. He deserved it. So how's it going, uh, Mr. Called Out Sev Cyrus? Doing good? Here we go. Dude, just parkour over the wall. Oh, it's locked, really? What about this one? It's probably locked, too. Sag. There's like 50 bucks here. There we go. Doing good except for the pin that tried to kill you. Well, you should show people a photo of the pin that tried to kill you. That sounds pretty serious to me. Can't you're eating? Well, why's that stopping you? You got time to type. You got time to show pictures. Something like that, man. Go ahead and save while we're here. But yeah, Mitty was over there playing uh, the remaster on uh, PS5 or whatever. And I was like, man. I want to go run people over. And I'd already been playing GTA 1 and 2 just for nostalgia. So, you know, it's all weirdly convenient. In the car. Yeehaw! Man, the camera in this is so butt. Is 
Because I can't see the cars that are ahead of me. Camera needs to be at a high angle so you can actually see what's going on. Go ahead, hit me. Or not. See you guys later. You finally got the ambulance trophy. Nice. Oh, look. Magically. I won't be wanted when we come out of this. Isn't that amazing? Oh, we still are. I guess because the cops are right here? Well, that's fine. Take it down! Target the cop! Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, we need to get a regular car, and I'm gonna go swing by the pay and spray. Come on, where's a regular car at? need to stop being jerks, okay? Do you see me coming around running you guys over? Yeah, I mean, aside from the fact that you do, you know, you should really just chill out, you jerks. to you too. Oh, all the cop cars are out here are gone. Sad. Much sadness. All right, anyway, a little chaos. It's a good time. I guess we'll go see what the next mission is. As we listen to the sweet, sweet sounds of Kate Jaw. I was on uh, some artist's stream a while back. And he happened to be listening to uh, The Scientist. And I'm like, oh, yes, I recognize these songs. I didn't mention I recognize them because they were in GTA 3, but I remember them. Hey, I'm bored. When are you going to drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long, and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Balls Bomb Shop up in Harwood. You know 8-Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry wow. up, he won't be in forever. Okay. Hold on, we're gonna pause here for a second. Pop out, let's open this up. You know, this doesn't look like a killer pen to me, Six. This looks like a regular, everyday pen. What's so killer about the killer pen? What... What was it here that brought you near to death? Inquiring minds want to know. The dude just jumped in front of me. Horse choked and poisoned you on contact. Wow. Well, I didn't expect you to be allergic to that. It just looked like a little pin, dude. I'm 
I'm sorry your experience was so disastrous. Good, I'm glad you like it. Spike has a pin? What does that mean? Kim, can we even talk about that on on Twitch? Like that sounds a little um something something. Man, this game had such a good soundtrack. I wish I could turn it up real loud and rock it. But if I do that, YouTube's gonna clobber me for sure when I upload this. face. I go hard, the pixel art thing in your... Oh, okay, cool. Oh, is it Sean P? Yeah, that's Sean P now. And Sean Price was a beast. Rest in peace, buddy. You gotta love it, man. You can just drive on the wrong side of the road. Nobody cares. comes. Here he comes. Oh, brace yourselves. Ka freaking Chang. Oh, we can run. I forgot about that. No one knows how that happened or why there's no police presence afterwards. Like, it's just one of those things, Mitty. It's one of those things. as you go through your life you only encounter things like that where sometimes they'll just be explosions because cars go kaboom where's the freaking phone at is this for like a rampage or something I remember this. I remember this mission. <laughs> Wait, is this car just around the corner? We're ready to go in. Go in. All right.
Yeah, let's go meet Banky Bank, sir. Bankstologist. Wow, dude. I had the right of way there. That's not actually true. He had the right of way. But I'm the player character, so I have the right of way. Oh, one day we'll get to blow somebody up with the jingly jingly. Yes, let's pay the fellow a visit. Yeah, Brit. You Brit bastard. Made banana hammocks in shop class? What? All because of video games. Here he goes. Here he goes. Also, Mitty, who wants to do the ambulance missions all the way to the end? Because, ugh. I mean, I did that back in the day when this game was new. Like, I did everything. I 100 percent this thing before 100 percenting was even a thing. And it was kind of miserable doing the ambulance missions and the police missions. Yeah, ambulances are top heavy, man. They are top heavy. They want to tilt. Bro, this definitive edition thing just it looks good. There's a person that where? I mean, there was one I ran over intentionally up over here. Because sometimes you just have to run over people. You want some too? Profits. Wedged himself under the car. The 
this moron we're driving wedged himself under the car. Why are these guys always on the wrong side of the road? Yeah, we're not making it to this guy. We're driving too slow. Yep, oh well. We saved one person. That's better than none. Pretty successful, really. jackpot with her. Hold up. Hold up. She had one busy day, dude. Alright. Beautiful. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in China. Noodle stand in Chinatown. Sold his last stir -fry. All right. I want you to take, take him, him out. down. You need to press, right. go around right. back of yep. ammunition opposite the subway. Well, Sell yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Yeah. Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Let's see, I don't want the ambulance. I guess we'll take this little guy. Thank you, little info box pop-up. Are you for real? Oh, Six is lurking. He gets one little pin that tries to kill him and he immediately starts lurking. Oh, I'm I'm definitely like nostalgiaing it up here. I'm having a blast. I am the lurk. He is vengeance. He is the night. He is lurk stream. Look, little lady. 
You're cool. I just need your car. Oh, come on! Ugh. Kill that light post. We just drove through that hedge. That was cool. Alright, let's try this again. It should just pop up a thing at the end of the mission, like, do you want to try again? This is where he ran to, if I remember right, so... Yeah, this is better. Got him! Take him out! Is that a cop? Yeah, it's a cop chasing me. Yep, that's so a cop chasing me. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 Well, Mitty, who needed to cheese it? We just murdered him. But you can cheese by putting a bomb in it. Oh, I didn't even. I never thought of that. I never thought of that. That's brilliant. Oh, there's a trophy for it. Okay. That sounds very midi. Very mid specific. Fantastic, if you will. Hey, you. Come on in. Get out of my way. This guy's gonna give me such a good re like review on uh, Uber, man. He's gonna be like, this is the best driver I've ever had. Sure, we didn't make it to our destination on time because it was an unreasonable amount of time, but he was a great driver, and frankly, I love him and I wanna marry him. And I'll just be like, that's very flattering, but I'm not into you like that. Car lady. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, that's not happening. Sorry, lady. I'm out. I made more money running these people over than I got from driving you. So need a facial. Wow. You know, I know some people that can help with that lady.
Yo! All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. And take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't Got be it. doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. You bet. Get car, ram car. I can do this. I'm not going to say that it's my specialty, but this game is called Grand Theft Auto. And step one of this mission was stealing a car. So, uh, yeah, I think I got this. There we go. What's wrong with doing a U-turn, man? U-turns are legal, unless there's a sign saying no U-turn. Not in Canada. You you live in such a barbarous state. Wow. Uh, you're you're kind of blowing my mind there, XLG. This news. Cops are now responsible for several people being murdered here. All right, easy peasy. You from the Teamsters? You can stay on the second stage. Respond to a ten forty eight in West Portland Harbor. Where's he going? I just parked on top of his partner and he's just walking away. How do you do, fellow officers? at us. We are the best. Let's go see what this phone call icon is. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, hold up, hold up. I don't remember buses in this game. Go. Oh! Yeah! Did we 
we get it? I don't think we got it, but that was fun. Let's do it again. Or let's end up down here in the subway and get away before the it goes away. Nailed it, yep. Yes, I do call that driving. Little burnout going. You're jaywalking. Really? Guys! What the flapjack? Try this again. Woo! Uh, anyway, we had something we were going to go do, so we should probably go do that. Park thou. This is El Poro at the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting oh, by no. the old hall near the Catholic Bridge. Get yourself some wheels and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. I despise this particular mission. I know their cars are bulletproof. I spent a lot of time cheesing this way back in the day. For the tank? No, I just blocked the road. Come on. Fine, don't grab his car. Grab his car. Oh, I should have grabbed uh, that Banshee that's over at the uh, car lot, shouldn't I? Hold on. Let's go do that before I get started here. Or a cop car. If those cop cars were easy to steal, I'd grab one. But you can't get into them. If the road's not blocked, I'll just re-block it, man. Like, it's not a big deal. Nailed it.
But I remember those cars doing really stupid things if they can't drive forward. Let's see, isn't there a banshee in here somewhere? Yeah. You actually want me to... Okay, fine, I'll just drive into it. How did I remember this car was here? It's been a long time since I've come up here and played this part of the game. Like, it's been at least 15 years. How did I re remember that that car was there? I must have stolen this car a freaking lot. All right, let's see what the situation is. Your little van is perfect for my needs. Really, cop? Out. Fire. Fine, we'll go ditch this stupid wanted level that shouldn't even be a thing. Here, I'm gonna run you over, you piece of filth! You know, I'm just trying to rig the game in my favor, game. What are you doing? Okay, we should just go wait here. There we go. Let's try this again. With less of poopy heads getting in my way. Alright, this little van is perfect. BF injection. Uh, you have to do a mission to get the BF injection to spawn, don't you? Isn't that like uh, something special? I feel like it has um, a rule about when it can spawn. I just don't remember what it is. Astani Kestoff Bat? What? Getting a hole in your fang? Why? What cop is even here? Get out of here, dude. Oh, it took the van away. Lame. Getting a hole in your face? Yeah, that's definitely what's going to happen. You! Gib. Gib truck. Truck, you give. You can sell the seven C's. I'll show you driving. 
Ah, we accidentally botched it, but that's okay. We'll just have to pretend we know how to drive. I tell you, the race in Cyberpunk was a lot of fun. Those sequences, they were way more fun than they should have been. I especially like that they involved machine gun fire. Bro! What is that guy doing? Stop spinning out, you dumb dumb. You dodo bird. I missed it. We lost. I hate races in these games. The tracks are always unreasonable. Why did it start raining? Your mother's your sister. That's nice to know. I'm glad you have such a close-knit family. Anyway, back in the day, I cheesed that. If you block them in just right, they'll, like, flip their cars and stuff. At least they would on the PlayStation. We are so in last place. No, it says we're in third. Number one, that's not a raffle, that's a race. Number two, you're the loser, Doomkopf. Wrong place. Brought your car back, dude. We just borrowed it. We didn't steal it. Rush, rush, yippee, yeah, yeah. Not that that's the song that was playing, but it, or is playing, but it was the song that was playing. This is El Boro at the Diablo. I think I have to do this to get the mission I want to do, which is the one where you uh, lure somebody to their death with the ice cream truck. Like, that's kind of where I want to get to today. I think you have to start that by working for El Burrow there. Could be wrong. Might be wrong. Probably am wrong. Would like to not be wrong. The engines are amazing, by the way. We got. Hey, you! This is what I need. Hell no. Heck yeah! Oh, 
yeah! Sorry, I should have I should have changed how I'm parking these. A little too far forward. Blocking my own lane. Let's back up a smidge. There we go. That's perfect. Dude, when somebody's driving a garbage truck onto the street, like, maybe you should not be there, you know? That's all I'm saying. Maybe you should choose to be somewhere else other than the sidewalk where you're being run over by a garbage truck. I know that's kind of a crazy thought, and I just started having it myself, so I don't know if it's a good one. But it kind of seems like you're going to get run over if somebody's got a garbage truck on the city street, okay? Alright, let's try this. This ought to slow him down at the beginning and give me just that little bit of juice that I need. this, we run back up here, around this way, between, like that, perfect. Alright, I think we're supposed to go up the hill this way, and then hang a left on this street, and then we can go straight, yeah. In more modern games, they would have choreographed the traffic, instead of having to be like the random mess that it is here. I definitely noticed that when I was doing the races in Cyberpunk, that uh, the oncoming traffic would be the same every time. Which I appreciated, because it meant you could predict the race on your, like, second attempt. pretty good. Definitely burning on the straightaways. Man, people do this on uh, the road around town here, the Beltline. Like, they will come through and be doing like 90, doing street races during like heavy traffic. It's insane. At least I'm hoping it's street races and not like, uh, you know, they're escaping a crime scene or something. But there'll be two cars doing it, so it's got to be racing. Seems kind of wild to me, man. That traffic is way too dense. His mother's, his mother's a sister. There's that same guy, man, with his close knit family tree. It's more like a thorn bush. Uh, let's finish working for the mobster guy, I guess. I'm 
not even hitting the button to change the radio station. I'm not sure how that's happening. Tuned her real sweet. She purrs, you know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. I right, listen, this guy he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Yeah, hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Hey, you ever played driver, Mitty? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Okay. On PC a long time ago? Oh, I've never played Driver on PC. I didn't know it had a PC port. I played it on uh, PlayStation. And I liked that game, but man... Being stuck inside your car at all times... Kind of a bummer, because I played... I feel like I played GTA 3 first. Maybe not. Maybe I played the original GTA, and even there it seemed like, I should be able to get out of my car, man, after that experience. Wait here. But it was a pretty cool money. game. This ain't a social call. My money, my problem. I can't read the slogan in the window. That would get me canceled. Make me drive with a blown out tire. Watch the car, no fancy crap. Look, I'm just improving airflow to the engine, alright? No, and that's offensive that you should ask. The triads think they can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them something to launder. Their own blood stained clothes. Oh ho ho ho! ho. by Uzi's now. Uh, yeah, let's go finish working for Joey. Got like one or two more, and then he should be done. And we can go back to working for El Burrow on the phone. Just beautiful. All right, just the guy I need to talk to. All right, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, all right? All right. Seems easy enough. What could go wrong? Check out the Zeppelin. What could go wrong? Wait, anyway, Mitty, I'm really happy you were able to, like, pop in and watch some of this, because you're kind of the reason I'm playing it on stream. It's very shway. Oh, 
Oh no! It's the Ferrelli brothers! Wow. Okay, there we go. Now we're out of the lot. We can make some work, or make some distance here. Let's look behind. What is it to look behind? That. I think we got it. I think we're away from them. Just hard with the kiddos. Oh, I understand. Did I just hear an explosion in the distance? Did the Ferrelli brothers get themselves killed? What a shame. Yeah, what a shame. If I had a stream deck or I got my cell phone out and hooked it up to be a stream deck, this is where I would like hit a button and put up JC Denton on the screen with his what a shame caption. But we're not that advanced. Our technology doesn't go that far. Oh no, a bomb. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. I know, we're we're super amateur hour. It's okay though. It's okay to be amateur. Thanks, honey. Oh, come on. Really? This is some tough glass. Look at what's in this car. There we go. Sorry, I didn't return the last car I took from you, buddy. Oh, let's get the package. Let's get the package. I am so never collecting all 100 packages again. Ugh. Well, that other car we stole from him is not here anymore, so he's probably got it back by now. You know? So it's fine. Just a longer term rental. Oh, come on, man! I don't want to sit here and wait. Phone's not ringing. We can go buy some guns and stuff, I guess, while we're waiting. Assuming ammunition is open. I really don't like games that include day-night cycles and stuff like that. Like, just let me keep going with the mission. Who cares if it's nighttime? Skyrim. Oh! Jarl Balgruff is sleeping now. Who cares? Wake the Jarl up. We got work to do. downtown? Well, not with you, honey. Yeah, 
do it happens. No? Okay. Oh, how about you? Apparently they just can't get in this car. All right, well, that's fine. I guess we'll uh, visit the phone over here. That's one thing I like about Morrowind is it doesn't really matter what time it is. Everybody's just, they're ready to go. Day, night, the NPCs are there. Oh, this is it, isn't it? With nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice Yes! Cream. Pick up the bomb I've eaten in hard Yes! I got the regular ice cream van on yes! it. Yes! And lure these fools to their the doom with the jingly jingly. Atlantic <laughs> King. <laughs> We're about to lure them to their doom with the jingly jingly. Hold on, there's a jump right there. Let's um, get out here. Oh! -ho! Try that again. Then we'll get back to the jingly jingly. Sorry, this is this is more important than the jingly jingly could be. Oh. Then I count as a jump. That looked like a jump. Must have done it wrong. Get away from that copper. Really? Really? There we go. Am I? I'm working for your boss. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. This is a reference, by the way. Ernest Borgnine, in a particular movie, was the taxi driver. Driver. So that that's all a reference right there. And if you're not Ninja Weasel, you probably don't know. Ninja Weasel, on the other hand, he knows. He was there. He heard he was dead. Hey, didn't these have uh, two ice cream tops on them? Not just one? Or am I thinking of the actual ice cream factory building that has the two mounds? Because it's supposed to be suggestive of a certain uh, thing. Anatomy on women. Or what's the correct term to use now? Uh, Tata having people? I don't, I don't know. I, I can't keep up. But 
here we are, Atlanta Key. Is that it? Is that everybody? I think that was it. Bonus. That is one of my favorite missions in the entire game. Remember when Midi was playing the remastered version, uh, that was like what I asked him, have you already killed them with the jingly jingly? And I don't think Midi understood what I meant. But now I know Midi understands what I meant. It's important, Midi, you have to kill them with the jingly jingly. All right, well, we got to where I wanted to get to. We're, we'll play a little bit longer, but I'm going to wrap up and go get some dinner here in a second. So, we'll finish this guy's stuff. What a ride she's going to be, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before 5 o'clock, not a minute after. Oh, the taxi's perfect. You are the perfect car. You're discreet, not noticeable. Nobody's gonna care. Like we'll just get lost. Be like, ah, oh, yeah, they're they're in a taxi. Which one? Oh, uh, well, we didn't get the medallion number off the, the hood. Yeah, because you're losers. Me, big brain. All big brain plays from here. See, they'll never be able to find us. Get us to the bank on the main drag. Oh yeah, they will never be able to figure out what cab was involved with this bank robbery. Look how nondescript we are. Holy fudge, dude! What the ever-loving flapjack! I just passed up the pay and spray, didn't I? Nope, okay, good. We did turn up the right road. Yeah, it's like the entire police force was right outside. Look at that. 
pro-level strats right there. They really won't know who we are now. I was all like, oh yeah, we'll go up here, we'll get that one star that'll drop us down to two. Uh, that'll make the police a lot less dangerous. But no. What are you shooting at the cop for? All right. Well, I'm going to go back to my safe house and I'm going to save. And I think we're going to call it a stream here. Thank you all for choosing to spend some of your time with me on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday. I know we're mostly playing Chrono Trigger, but I couldn't resist, man. I got, like, in the mood for some violence, okay? And what better way to satisfy that urge for wanton, gratuitous violence than playing a 20-something-year-old game and running people over? I don't know if Steam has, uh, if this game has, like, uh, Steam Cloud and all that jazz, but uh, I'll keep this installed, and maybe we'll come back and uh, play this again after a while. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. Good stretch. Uh, let's see. Who's streaming anything that I know? Uh, let's see. Leon's is doing League. Uh, I don't really know any of these other people. They're just artists I watch on Twitch. Uh, Vin just playing something. I don't know what that is. So I guess we're just going to call it. We will be doing Chrono Trigger tomorrow. Uh, so that'll be a hoot. And, uh, hey, before I go, before I go, before I go, um, here, if you own the regular version on PC and you want to play the really cool stuff, uh, and apparently I can't drop that link in my Twitch chat, what? I freaking hate OBS sometimes, man. Here, let's try this again. We'll paste it in here. Uh, you can check that out, and you can play the, like, super-duper Ultra Omega version of this that I'm rocking with all the cool widgets and graphics and stuff. I don't know how all that stuff works, but uh, it was just like, there's a guide on Steam that was like, yo, install the game, download this, unpack it, and you too can have a pretty game experience. So I did it, and that's what we were doing. It's very cool. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end off now, and uh, you all take care of yourselves. <clears throat> and uh, bye-bye and all that.